everyone. This morning my message is titled, Get Rid of the Rust. Anger and resentment can eat away at the love within relationships just as quickly as rust can corrode a piece of metal that's left close to the seaside. So what do I mean by this, you may ask? Well, let's look at some of the safety risks of rust. Firstly, rust can cause brittleness. For example, a bridge. A bridge that's rusted is unsafe for anyone that may walk on it. In relationships, resentment and anger can weaken the structure of family units, causing a breakdown and instability in families. Secondly, rust reduces a product's lifespan. Anger and resist- resentment is often the cause of en- relationships ending prematurely. Relationships that could have lasted a lifetime often end early because of unresolved issues. Thirdly, rust can damage a product it can damage your reputation. Think about a car dealership, for example. It's unlikely that a relationship that's filled with anger and resentment would be built on respect or trust for one another. Fourthly, repeated exposure to rust can be harmful to one's health. Anger, anxiety and and stress affects the well-being of a person and it relates especially to our mental health as a result of anger and and things that we are keeping within ourselves. One of life's great tragedies is watching a relationship unravel over something that could have been resolved in one intelligent adult conversation. So one conversation isn't going to fix anything you may argue. Well then, that would depend on what you are actually seeking. Well, what do I mean by this? Well, it's quite simple. Do you want to actually mend a relationship or do you want to prove that you are right and that you want to have things your way well if you really want to mend a relationship it may mean that you're going to have to have grace show mercy and possibly forgive the next person 1 peter 4 verse 8 says above all love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins What is the love of God? John 3.16 says it all. He gave his only, one and only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge, but to save the world through him. Jesus was so committed to seeing our relationship with the Father being repaired that he, he sacrificially loved us as well as his Father. God's love forgives. Luke 23, 34, Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. How much did our God love us? So today I want to encourage you to look within yourself. Are there relationships in your life that are rusting? If so, please, it's time to show mercy, to love one another and to forgive. God bless you.